Let's see what we can win with. So, Hellhorned. And Awoken, we've got to win. None with the Steigen. None with the Umbra. And obviously none with the Melt. So, let's go again with the Steigen. I'm not going to obviously play the same decks all the time, but... I'm just trying to, uh... God damn it! Devouring the spell sucks. We need to be able to do the damage. Okay, I think we'll go full Reaper build. We'll try and make it a bit impy as well. I do like the uh, extra damage coming in, but the the Jack boys is quite good. I think if we ignore the first floor, let them move up and die. So a lot of two health units come in. So throw him up there. How much is that? 18 plus 5? 23? You're, you're going to take 2 damage as you move up. This is... Uh, okay, I can see exactly how we're going to keep doing this. Give me the coin. Because you have where if you have coin. <laughs> oh, this is going to work very well for us. We just need, a, like, a big old tank now. A really good position. If we can do two, da uh, two attacks, yeah, with one. Sorry for your loss. I'm gonna say no to more abilities to do damage. Uh, piercing deal five is nice. I think we want that. Twenty damage to enemy unit three times. Draw one, discard one. Apply. Yeah, okay, we'll go ice tornado. Hi, red. Just uh, jump past me. I love the sweep, <laughs> but we need a tank. He's not a tank, but like he's the beginnings of one. So spells are gonna be a no go, aren't they? So I think we want to, we definitely want to focus on like raw damage output. Gonna we'll be doing a lot of uh, damage where we can. I know what you're thinking. You're like Jesse. You look like you weren't gonna go for that. Yeah, an aggressive tank's not a bad idea though. I don't think in this situation. The rail beat is nice as well. I had the option to go for an attack though, and I was like, eh, you know. Okay, you suck, and you've got sweep. Okay, brilliant. At some point, my family are going to move. I think when I get there, I'm going to do my room, basically. So when I eventually get a job, I can decorate a fourth flat high one. I mean, that's fair. I understand what you're getting at there. Yeah, you definitely die. Okay. It's alright, I was just I was just measuring my options up a sec there. Actually like really helpful. Uh -oh. oh, I forgot about the jack blades. That's I I it's good this is good. This is good. This is gonna go well for us. Yeah, the, the, again the jack blades are gonna do the damage though. I want you and Murder to see this terrible looking house from the outside, then walk in and be like, Jesus, why is everything pink, white, and black? <laughs> I mean, I mean what, what what do you do here? Just pop that guy there and then turn? We can't buff anybody. He He's dead. I hate the fact my boy here is dead, but... Look at him go! A man of the people. Very powerful. Dude, they, they, they just want to get me angry. Do you ever look at a house on right move and decorate it in your mind? Not so much that, but I definitely, like, look at a house. And, like, I can see exactly how I'd want to do it. I don't really think about decoration that much. I look at furniture more than anything. Decoration's not really that important to me. As... Chelsea's very aware now. But yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't really think about it. 
Ooh, silence or buffs? Let's get rid of the buffs. Should have saved that. I'm looking at furniture right now and, and knowing I'm buying everything second hand. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Ah! Oh, do I want that? Okay, why not? <laughs> it adds an element of RNG I'm uncomfortable with, but I think I'm paying £200 for a sofa when YMCA have one just like it was 60 quid. No, exactly. You don't mind buying second hand, mate. You go for it. I mean, we only bought the ones that we have uh, now from DFS because, you know, we can afford it. If we couldn't have, then, you know, we'd have stuck with what we had. But the option came up, so... Okay, so these guys are going to do one damage every time they get hit. So they both die and you only take four damage. We need our boys surviving. I mean, it sucks they just took that damage, but here we are. You might as well use it while you've got it, you know what I mean? Okay. Dude, the RNG of this is ridiculous. So, kill you. I mean, we might as well just use like anything that's on zero health. Or zero uh, energy, Ember. The only thing I wouldn't buy secondhand is a mattress. Maybe a single man owned that mattress. And what do single men do on mattresses when they're all alone? Yeah, no, I'm 100% with you. I would never buy a mattress secondhand. That seems like way too disgusting. I mean, I'm sure they, they were lovingly taken care of. Or taken care of. Talking, talking care of? Taken care of? But yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Stop beating up my large lad. Remind me, what do we have here? Slay 10 extra damage. Perfect. Unfortunately, it deals a bit of damage to my boy here, but. That's life. Hello. Why do you have fluff on the side of your head? Come on then. There we go. Hello, boy. Red's here. He says hi, chat. Eight damage straight off the bat. We can't stop that, can we? Yo, the lad dies, though. He doesn't stand a chance. The raw sexual power of my boy Kratos. I don't know how science works, but I think if I gave my mattress to a charity shop and I lady slept on it, I think she would somehow get pregnant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, give me, give me that tank. Honestly, because of, like, the uh, shit we've got going on right now with energy, I feel like we kind of need that. So who's the father? Mattress. It just reminds me of, is it Big Mouth? When the guy gets the pillow pregnant? That's all you're reminding me of right now. <laughs> yeah, mattress. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. It's giving me a bloody moment, that is. Um... Dude, we want this guy to survive as like as long as possible. A woman is getting pregnant from a second-hand mattress. Yeah, arguably it is worse. You're not wrong. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. 
We we really do have fun here, don't we? Really do. <laughs> so gross. You know those mattresses in the box? Yes, I had one of those. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Oh, that costing free energy sucks. You will die, which is like super. Send him up! Do they both die? You do not get away! That's a lot of damage. Have you considered doing less? Send in the shark! You coming back? Did you just remember you had food down there? I have to keep his food like right here now, just to uh, make sure Sylvia didn't steal it. I imagine when you buy one of those and open it up, it expands insanely quick like an airplane inflatable side. So if you stand directly in front of it, it will throw you against the wall. Um, do you want me to break your illusion? Or no? Ow. Because let me tell you, it ain't that exciting. No, thank you. <laughs> that. Completely understand. Have a great day. Listen to you purr in a way, you little cute kitty. Dude, the frostbite going on is like really good. Playing the shark this way has like been brilliant. A stroke of genius, some might say. Not me, I'm just a humble streamer, but some would say, genius idea, great play. You know what's worse than buying a second-hand mattress, buying a second-hand duvet cover? Right, I'm sorry, but if you buy my duvet cover from me, before I go the second you touch it. Okay, listen, I know what we're talking about here, and etc, etc, but like, why are you jizzing on your duvet cover? That is like filthy animals levels of like, gross. Why aren't you? Because, well, first of all, I don't need to. But secondly, I use the tissue. Would you like to see my method? I right, wash it. It's fine. Just use tissue and throw it down the toilet. Or a sock and throw it down the toilet. Also, can we talk about how well this run's doing at the moment? I feel like it's dangerous to start saying anything good. Hello. Can I help you? Hi. Are you tired? You seen this cat? Red. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's like the weirdest combination of both of my cats. It's, it's ridiculous. Because Sylvia likes climbing on shoulders too. But he's really cuddly like Neo. I, I just don't understand him. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really, really love the kitty. He's really cute. And he's like my best friend. But I just don't get it. <laughs> we are eating a lot of... Uh, money here for potential other things, but I'm having a good time. I'm not wasting a sock. I mean, you don't necessarily throw one down the toilet if, in all fairness. You just wash it. Uh, we went stealthy last time, didn't we? Deal two damage to your unit and slay them and get 50. Pi gets plus one for every 10 coins you have. Purge that, and you gain 30 times the coins. 30 times the energy that you use. Honestly, I'd like to go with the aggressive on this one. Oh my god, imagine buying a second-hand socks from a single man. <laughs> what if you bought uh, second-hand socks from two men? One for each foot. 
All right, where are we going? Where are we going, Red? What do you reckon? Is this a one run? Is this a one run? I don't think it is, but we can certainly hope. Shark boy, ah, fighter of the night boy. You're definitely dead, which is like awesome. You are like there. Reddington. Dude, the brutality of the frostbite. I love it. What do you reckon, Red? Did they, like, buff that card? Because they never used to have free health. I'm sure they didn't. Why won't you die? Bye. 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 Reddington. You are a cute little kitty cat. Man, all of my abilities, like, cost shit tons. No, my big lad dies. Oh, can we save you? Oh, I don't think we can. No, Red, they kill him. This is not okay. Oh, I can't do enough damage to save him. Piss. You hate to see it. You really do. Uh, do as much frost damage to these knobheads as possible. One of them dies at least. Let the frostbite take him. First person in history to get fetal crabs. Why does the word fetal confuse me? Please, you've got to understand. You're going to survive by two fucking health? Damn this game! Why does this do it? Why did they do this to me? I could really do some good draw here. Unfortunately, we have not. You can take 78 damage. Oh, right, because you're going to hit him like a million times. <laughs> Idiot. You know what? Just so you can chip away a little bit. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Two units have made it with two health. That is ridiculous. Dude, Shark Tank is like awesome. I forgot about Jack Strips. Yo! Very powerful. We need you on the next play. And you won't be here for us because you're rude. You hate to see it. I think the Pyre's gonna have to do the kill here. I think this guy's gonna die before it gets to the Pyre. Who needs Pyre bound? Dude, the frostbite. It's such a powerful mechanic. You don't understand. Um, we find like a nice place to slip him into a group. I think we're uh, going to do some work with him. Pie health is still fine. Although the purchasing of trinkets. Or the duplication. 
of maybe the Steelworker or the Titan Sentry. Can you imagine a Titan Sentry on like two different floors where they're constantly gaining armor? The Frostbite Freeze going on every time they get hit. Oh, that's, that's, that's tempting. I'll be honest. I don't think like we need to get rid of any cards. I don't think we need any more health. I think we've got to be sensible here. We duplicate the Titan Sentry. I think two of those is going to work wonders. Uh, do we want any of these? I honestly don't know if we want any of these. Yeah, honestly, I don't think we need anything there. It was a bit of a gamble to, like, see if there's anything worth getting, but that's fine. Let's go kick Fel's ass. Uh, Morty Strike and Rage. Okay. Usually if something's going to hit us and kill us, like, the Rage doesn't make much difference. I suppose the Rage and Morty Strike on the uh, Winged Angels kind of sucks, but... Of course you start there immediately. All right. It's annoying we can't use uh, Ice Tornado immediately, but... Listen, we can chip away at some uh, angel health here. Always good. Kind of want to put another one, like, up top. Just ready, but... I think we're being a bit silly doing that. But we could we could do it, I'm just saying. Might have been worth placing the uh, train boy as well. But hopefully we're gonna be stacking frostbite on this knobhead immediately. It's annoying you've already gotten quite high up. Like way higher than I'd have uh I'd have liked. I kind of need to let it happen as well. The pyre will one-shot you though. So. Rounds and swingabouts. You won't die. You'll die you moving upwards. Honestly, don't mind if you die. Ah, uh, it's annoying we didn't get the kill with uh, our boy. I'm noticing that's a bit of an issue. Like, Reaper's really good. But it's, unless you get lucky, I don't think... Or maybe not lucky, but... Unless you know what to do, I guess. It's quite hard to make it work. The way you'd like it to. I feel like, anyway. Could be incredibly wrong. I've been known to be. I just want to make sure he dies. <laughs> we got a lot of work to make it happen. Okay. One health off just getting the kill. Honestly, don't mind you being there. Now you die. Don't like you taking damage, but we need to start chipping away at this health a little bit. There's still statues in the way, then it causes issues. Dude, bloody more uh, sweep on the enemies. It's BM at its finest. Perfect. You're only taking five damage? Because you're going to kill my boy? Seriously? Oh, don't kill my boy. What's wrong with you? Fucking sweep, dude. 
Okay, me and Meadow are going to watch Big Brother talk either later or tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, buddy, no worries. Have fun. I'll be honest. The Hellhorn Champion feels quite useless to me. I don't like saying that. Because, like, you know, great guy, salt of the earth. But he just goes down like a bitch. I'm sorry, he does. I find it very hard to respect him. Unfortunately, our first uh, shark boy is reaching the end of his usefulness. He's doing 18 damage per. Three hundred and eighty-four damage. Dead. Dude, the shark tank meta doing work. Yo, we found a good combination again. Y'all love to see it. Uh, we need to find a way to use that effectively. There's definitely a way. I'm just not good at spotting it. Okay. Um, Pyre health is okay. What do we, what do we want to upgrade? I feel like spells probably like something we'd rather upgrade right now. Yeah, I think our, uh, we're in a good position as far as other cards concerned. Hold over. Oh, you know what's happening, boys. You know what's happening. Okay, we've got enough coin to do a reroll, see if anything good comes up. 20 magic power plus, can, uh... 120 damage that would do. Uh, no, I like the idea of it coming back. Okay. Again, the problem is the hearts. Like, if something's got sweep, we're dead. We're dead. We'll give it a go. We've just got to hope that anything with sweep is like wiped out. It might be worth maybe putting that champion up top. Just kind of like maybe solve an issue. This guy sucks. He's such a nightmare. So how are we going to do this? Like smart people. So close to dead, it's ridiculous. I mean, you'll die from frostbite, so I don't need to worry about you anymore. You are no longer a problem. Should have used Titan's Tooth, that's very dumb of me. That is, as the kids say, a misplay. We are starting to stack up some damage. If they're getting that far, then we're doing something wrong. Is all I'll say. Protect the Moon Shaker. Putting the tank at the back's like super good. In fact, this combination right here is like really good. As long as we can uh, play it appropriately. 
Okay, so either we take some pyre damage here, or we do what we can to make sure people die. So you're going to make it to the pyre regardless, which is, like, actually annoying. So let's help him out. We need to make sure you die. You can take three damage each, that's fine. Okay. The pyre right now is not to be effed with. Honestly, that combination is like super good. Knock the tank back, kill the guy in behind. Everybody's gonna be one shot. I would like to make sure that you die. If that is at all possible. It is. You're not gonna die, but you are gonna have frostbite. You're gonna you're not gonna do any damage anyway, you die. Perfect. It's sad my little tank there is dead. Because uh, we are very exposed right now. In a not fun way. Ain't particularly fussed. If you make it up. We need someone to stand in front of... Hellboy, otherwise we're dead. Basically. I'm hoping that doesn't cost us. Yeah, of course, you're not gonna hit the volume. So we're gonna find a way to do 900 damage. He's actually taking less damage because of how much damage he'll do to us. Which is <laughs> insane, to be honest. Man, we, uh... We need really to do some, like, cost-benefit analysis on fighting this guy. It's actually ridiculous how quickly he takes things out. Luckily, the pyre's gonna do, like, a shit ton of damage. My god, the game doesn't like to make it easy. So 207. Still 207. Let's not let's not waste that. These guys got rage right now, they do. More than anything is just gonna add for us, mate. The Frostbite's going to be the thing that wins for us again. Yeah, he's dead. Fat boys, don't even worry about it. And then the, that might be BM. I'm not sure. Three days, the guy. When in doubt, send him to the boiler room. Nobody escapes the boiler room. We're not running any imps right now, are we? Just the one? I can see battering ram being quite good. And that, we definitely want. There's definitely a good use case for that on the final boss. Uh, pie health is relatively okay. Yeah, I think we were looking at spells, weren't we, for upgrading stuff. T Titans. Oh. <laughs> Two of them rolling. Remove, consume, cost plus one. Okay, let's not, let's not mess with any. I don't think we need to up any magic right now. Let's see what we've got here. Which card we consume is played? How many consume cards do we have? Oh. 
We have one consume card. Well, friendly units gain plus two on kills, probably quite nice. And obviously the enemy minus one is probably really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 plus magic power. Why not? We can't take the money with us. Or can we? I mean, bring that down in cost is not a bad idea. 15 damage on a piercing. And can we lower the cost of anything else? One cost for six rage. Tw that's 12 damage. All right, boys. Final boss. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. If I was smart, I'd have looked at that and I'd have gone, huh. Could have gone with a trinket, though. That would have really helped. Unfortunately, I am a dumbass. So, let's operate very much similarly to how we did last time. Doesn't kill the enemy, which is annoying, but that will. We start racking up that damage. Okay, chicken wing has made it up there. Down with that, not a problem. That doesn't kill you. But this will. See, so we, need, we need to do like as much damage immediately there. Right, we're chipping away already. The frostbite's rolling as well. Let him swing. I cost too much to use it, honestly. I hate to say it. Everybody but the back guy dies. Let's make sure he dies. Honestly, why even take the damage at all? I'd rather make sure things are dying. I feel like we need to be a lot more aggressive when it comes to this kind of fight. And I feel like we've done it this entire playthrough as well. We've been very much like, oh, they're going to die. Why even waste using the cards? Just make sure they die. Just kill them fools. Two cost by a chomper. Not bad, not bad. Again, everybody dies, but our boy here takes 21 damage. I would like that to not be the case. That does mean he gets through. We kind of have to deal with that right now. I didn't think that would hit the uh, boss this early. Luckily, it did. I can see um, the green boys going with the uh, fish boys quite well here. I see a very, very big news case, uh, use case scenario there. Uh, just kill him off. Why would you not make sure they die? You're going to die and take 13 damage. But what if I told you, you could be taking more? Not enough, though. Keep chipping. I keep chipping, keep chipping. 
Can we get Hellboy up to the point where he just one-shots the boss? I want to say no. But my heart, my heart is telling me yes. But my body... <laughs> Honestly, the pie are taking damage at this stage. I am not really that worried about it. If I'm being frank. And I'm not being Jester, but... It's fine. We don't get paid to keep the pie alive. We get paid to win. Actually, that's not true. I don't get paid for anything to win. Cool if I did, though. I'm very nervous that the final wave is coming soon. We really, 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 really needed some of strong here. This is going to seem silly. And I'm aware it does. It keeps it keep Shark Boy alive. Incredible. <laughs> we just made it. And the frostbite going on right now. Oh, wow. I mean, he's definitely dead now. But we literally did all we could then to make sure Shark Boy lives. I'm proud of us. He's only going to take 128 damage when I'm doing that much damage to this guy. Jesus Christ. How? I think this will be a Pyre victory. Oh, that's so irritating. That 408 damage would have like one sh Not one shot, but like would have pretty much had him. Oh, that's, that's frustrating. Three hundred and fifty-four damage taken now. You'd love to see it. You keep hitting him, dude. The frostbite is off the chain. I'd like it to not be a Pyre victory. But I think it's going to have to be. Oh, it is absolutely is not. The amount of frostbite on this poor guy. <laughs> oh, it's a thing of beauty, it really is. He can one-shot all the units. The frostbite's going to kill him. Wow. Okay, so previously, I was like completely unsure about Hoarfrost Effigy. I'm very sure about Hoarfrost <laughs> Effigy now. That's awesome. You can literally just double it on the boss. It's probably not the most ideal way to use it, but that's good. That's good. Yo, what a combo. You love to see it. Alright, let's give the uh, Hellhorn number another go.